So now the service has been generated. Now we have to implement the service. Let us create a package where we are going to define the service implementation. Service. This is our new package. And this package we are going to create new class user service. So we have to implement the service. So existing user. So if you want to know exactly, you know, user and do. Now we have defined the empty service. Now we have to extend the actual service that has been generated by the gRPC compiler. So we have to use the extends keyword. And if you want to know what is exactly the service name, we need to look at our proto file definition. So what is the service name? User. So we have to like this user on any default service that has been generated by gRPC compiler looks like I am that will be IMPM base so this is the default syntax of gRPC compiler service definition so that we need to extend this so actually this specific class is located at this location here we can go there and see this is a abstract class we have some abstract methods we can override these methods and we can write our own logic to implement the specific service so that we are going to do that and we have to override these methods or you can do in this way generate override method login logout so we can we have got here now we need to remove this in these two methods we are going to write our own logic these are the default two apis we have defined in our service that is a protofile so you can see that login and logout in the login method we have to extract the information that is part of request login request we have passed two parameters username and password as part of our request that we know that both are strings so that username and request so this is the request so get username the same way password request get password so these are the two parameters or which are part of request so once we got the username and password we need to check whether this username and passwords are valid so usually what we do in our applications we have the database which will contain all the user and password information we usually retrieve the information from database with a database connection and we check the username and passwords are valid or not so when you want to build a real-time application that is the way you have to go with but it's a demo we are going to write some simple logic where we can check username and password if it is success give the successful response if it is failure give the failure response so we are going to write a simple logic like uh, we are checking username and password are equal or not so if they are equal respond with the success message else respond with failure message okay now we know that whenever you process the request and you want to send the response back to the client you should have the response object so we have to build the response object so if you are familiar with java 8 we can use the builder to build the object so what is the response actually we have defined in our service that is response is api response so we have to return the api response this is the object and also it has our grpc compiler has been created the required stuff to build the object so api response builder so name it as response api response new builder so this is how you can build a response object now we have to give plus we have to return the response this response should look like set response code so if it is a success we want to return one as our response code and response message should be like success and this is how you can the response object so if it is a failure case response set response code as zero and set message as fail 
this is how you can construct a response object now we can uh, have a response message for failure case like uh, invalid username or password so we can have a message like this so once we construct the response message we need to send the response back to the client so that the way is in grpc is you know if you see the request the login method we have the second parameter as a stream observer so we have to wrap the or response object inside the stream observer and we have to send back to the client so that the client knows the how to read response observer object and extract the response so we have to pass the response inside this and this is a builder so we need to call the build method on the builder object once the request response process has been done we need to close the connection between the api and the client for that we need to call on completed that's the one so that's it so once you call the on completed method on response observer then the communication between the api and the client application will be disconnected so that's it so now our service is ready and we have constructed our implementation by extending the user and pl base now we have to have the grpc server in our project so that our service can be embedded inside the server so that client applications can consume the service so how to create the grpc server we'll look into that in the next video stay tuned